bam 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 ba bam ba off constantly good evening welcome to off constantly your weekly add theater and pop culture extravaganza i'm your host bamba with me as always is samurai como estas and backwater bien y tu awesome uh we just like start show off by saying thank you to north metro tv are we still rolling that uh we uh we're lucky enough last night at the annual VIP awards to win two trophies. So two. Count thank em. you very much, uh, Eric and the Academy and board that voted for us. Um, we appreciate your views. Definitely appreciate it. The seven people that do watch a show on a regular basis, thank you. Mike, Henry, Sven, Eric, Ted, Mike. Colin. And there were two Svens, actually. There were two Svens? Two, two Svens. Well, one Sun Guard. Well, one well. is sun guard. So, <laughs> and one is is moon left pie. tackle. What's moon that? Pie. Sven Moonpie. Remember him? Yes. We knew him in high school. Oh, that's a good name. Sven Moonpie. His yeah. last name was actually Moonpie, or was he that like a nickname? He was Asian, so it was. Uh, yeah, I think he was adopted. <laughs> On that note, tonight we're going to talk about three subjects as always. But first, we're going to have this warning. Warning, if you are listening to the audio version of Off Constantly, do not operate a motor vehicle. The rapid changes of topic combined with the lights of oncoming traffic has been known to cause seizures. Thank you, Abby. That was whew, amazing. Wow. Lives were saved. Right now, people are pulling over on the road that were a little scared before because of that warning. So it. Uh, tonight's subjects are IMDb's top 250 movies voted <laughs> by their users. What are your guys' favorite movies? Uh, I think we covered this before. We have Perhaps. talked about it, but I feel like I thought I about it I've more ever since asked we you talked directly, about it. Directly? What's your favorite movie? Uh, m that's kind of, you got to give at least like three or four. It's yeah. like children, right? Yes, right. exactly. I mean, if I'm obviously I'm going to have a favorite child, but I can't I mean, just we explicitly all, say yeah. that. We know Gehenna is obviously your favorite film of all. I mean, <laughs> as bar patron number three in the movie, I think I was a, pivot, a pivotal plot point. I, you should have your own IMDb page. I do have my own IMDb page. Oh, that's right, you do. It's my greatest accomplishment. It's bar wow. patron. My child. Second or third. So I met Spinal on Tap one time. And then this award. Awesome too. Oh, that award is actually number one. Then IMDb. Yes, IMDb. Okay. So movies. My favorite. I know <laughs> one of which one of one of my favorite movies that comes to mind is Wet Hot American Summer. I absolutely. You know what? We love just, that movie. We just watched that the other night. I had heard about it and been looking for it. It was on HBO. Nice. And recorded it. And. Uh, yeah, it, it was a lot. On your VCR? Yeah, my, my tape <laughs> machine. Uh, it, it was, it was he actually just put a, uh, a, a cassette tape up to the TV while while he was gone, and he only has oh, the audio no, version. Yeah, it was a video it camera. Imagination. Oh, I see. I did a video camera. <laughs> just leave the it television the camera, set, so. taping the TV <laughs> yeah. while um, you're gone. But Wet Hot American Summer didn't make the list, surprisingly, of the 250 best No, I, I, I think, think just so. from the cast alone, it should be in there. It's packed. Even the minor characters now uh, are cute, like Oscar award, uh, Oscar nominees. I mean, they didn't. Some of them didn't win. Like uh, Bradley Cooper is in the movie. Him and Michael Ian Black. Michael Ian Black. Scene. Yes, that shed. is a very touching. Scene. Very touching scene. Um, and then the guy that plays Stewart on Big Bang Theory. The well, I, I don't watch shop it. owner. I don't watch. Anyway, he's okay. in there. He, he's got a real small part. Okay. I mean, it's just loaded with stars. It's it's uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Hilarious it's like the night sky. It's it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. You like that one? I'm gonna use that. <laughs> it's like shopping for cheese and finding the hard stuff. Because that's the good I stuff. I remember that. Um, and then Goodfellas is another one that I love. Goodfellas. Yes. Okay. So we got Wet Hot American Summer and Goodfellas. Uh, there's more than I. I it's kind of like the show. It doesn't make any sense. So no. We Summer. Okay, go ahead. I'm, yeah. No, go ahead. I'm We're gonna say Forgetting it. Sarah Marshall. Have you seen that? Yes. Yeah. Excellent probably, movie. I'm just gonna say that's my favorite. That's your favorite of all time. What about something about Mary? Mm. I I ben to, Stiller is just too much for me sometimes. Yeah, but the first time I saw that movie, I yeah, I was died. It was pretty good. I saw that movie 
for free after showing of the X Files. Ooh, so you movie. snuck in. So no, you no, they just did a special screening of it after an X Files movie. It was so free. You saw that comic genius that's for free? I did. That's that's very nice. Love Fantastic. It. Did you buy a lottery ticket on your way home? I. Not only did I buy a lottery ticket, I started a lottery. I don't think you did because you're still sitting here. Nah, uh, well. How do you make money starting lotteries? I don't really get. I would think so. Yeah, I guess everyone's buying the ticket. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you take you a portion make a lot of, of money. each one, so. Yeah, it just seems a little counterintuitive. You got 68 trillion people buying a lottery ticket. I, I started a lottery. Yeah, the that trick I is not actually no. paying out seems. on the lottery. And how do you start a lottery? Exactly. You just wake up one morning like, oh, I can't tell start you. Start a lottery secrets. today. But Better Off Dead, tell. also one of my favorite oh, movies. Oh, that is Love a that good movie. one. I want my two dollars. One Crazy Summer is good, but no, not it's not up to uh, Better Off Dead. Dead. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hey, there's tons of great movies out yeah. there. Star Wars, Rushmore, of great movie. Should we do the Star countdown Wars. now? Of these? Star Wars. Let's do yeah, the countdown. Yeah, let's hear what Cordy IMDb the and their viewers masses think. Their users. Well, this is just like ratings. These these are the ratings. But. They can be kind of partial to, you know, people that own people a computer that have an and IMDb own internet. And I mean, let's internet. face it, I could have gone on at work, could have gone on at home, could have yep. on my laptop. What if, okay, for the let's, same let's hear the list because I bet you some All right, of them so maybe. We come at, coming in at number five. <laughs> uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Did I not just make that's I, a movie? I've never seen that movie, but did I not just make a good, bad, and the ugly joke last night? Do you remember that? I. Did. There was three. They were talking about three Jasons, and you were the bad. There was a good Jason, a bad Jason, and then I was the ugly. That was I do remember that gold that I I served up to you, like, and then you yeah. just you let just it fly like away a, like, like a giant sort of bowl of ice cream with sprinkles yes. on it. Yes. Okay. So besides that joke, it was wasn't also rated well, number five fun. on the top two fifty. What year? Nineteen sixty-six is when that and came that out. That's why I have not seen it. Was that before your time? No. Just, t just two years before my time. Got cold in here all of a sudden. <laughs> Number four, Pulp Fiction, 1994. We I've weren't seen born parts yet. Of it. You weren't born yet, no, were you? No, I wasn't. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sick to my stomach. I right am now. too. <laughs> the Godfather Part Two comes in at number three with a rating of 9.1. That was in 1974. Did I say three? I meant two. Wait, Actually, Godfather. I did say two. You guys didn't hear me correctly. <laughs> Turn up the volume on your television set, please. Uh, number two would be The Godfather. Wait, Godfather 2 was number three. Yes. That's why I said Godfather That's 3. That's a little surprising, but we'll go on with the rest of the list. Well, there's only one left, so. But, so, have you, The God, I've and never the seen The Godfather. And the killing me. I was saying, a lot of people love, the God, think The Godfather 2 is better than the original Godfather. I would agree with that. I think they're both pretty How solid. many Godfathers are there? Just two? Three. There's three people. And then there's been like two miniseries too. People oh, not wow. such big fans of three. But uh, huh. Pacino wasn't in it. So um, the number one, care to guess? Um, I will give you a hint. Our great samurai gave me a bootleg copy of this film for Christmas. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I know what it is. The, lo the love guru. Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> Extapa Zewantaneo is your hands. Don't mess with the Lohan or <laughs> Zohan. Zohan. Yeah, not Lohan either. Don't mess with her. You'll get things you don't want. You can't get rid of without visiting a free clinic. Um, it is the Shawshank. Redemption. Yeah, that was the one that I was like, how could you? How have you never seen that? Did you watch have her? Have you watched it yet? Have you watched her? I have seen it like eight million times. I was not serious. I even you said. You had me. You had I me. I miss my friend Annie Dufresne. <laughs> All I know is I miss my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been to Estapa, for that. where they where he wants to go. He go, wants to go to Estapa Zihuataneo in oh, Mexico. That's where. Have you been there? No. That's like where he escapes to. He's like, I'm gonna go to the most where beautiful he, where place he's in the world. Where he's standing in a boat. Yeah, I think so. Like the end, he's standing in a boat, and then yeah. he walks up to him and says, "And," or he doesn't say anything. They just see each other and they embrace, and then the credits roll. What? Do you cry? Take my hat off? Flies off his head. Oh, yeah, the hat flies off his head. I forgot about the hat flying off his head. You see, that's what's great about the show is we get to interact with our cameraman. Even yeah. though you never get to see him. They're handsomely 
handsome people. It's like The Office. It is. It's a little bit like uh, we, I, one we've got. Can I George can I do George an office thing? What's my favorite Star Wars movie? Would be it has to be Empire Strikes Back. No question. It's not on the list. It's number s oh Seven. eleven. Number eleven. 11? Hmm. It's number Empire Strikes Back is eleven on IMDb. Yes. Wow. What's ten? Legit. Or we only did five, didn't we? I we only did five. <laughs> Star Wars comes in at number sixteen. How does that happen? People like. I mean. I mean, I love Empire Strikes Back, favorite? but without Star Wars. Well, yeah, obviously, well, in a one. vacuum of the Star Wars, if there is no Star Wars universe, you can't have a second. Uh, you can't just throw, pe throw theater go goers in front of a bunch of people you've never met before and be like, "What's? Well, why are they hanging out at this like snow hill and stuff? And what are those like weird like machines shooting? Why is everybody shooting at each other? I, mean, I forgot. Gosh, we were why did everybody about Star get Wars. along? <laughs> Well, What's yes. going on? Um, why is he cutting open that? Why do we all sound like this when we're asking questions about Star Wars? I know if we talk about Star Wars and we're asking a question Don't about it, we all sound the, like this. In the seventies, it's like in the fifties when they all talk like this. See, or in the thirties okay, or whatever. Cover. Now in the seventies, they all talk like this. Okay, well then I don't really understand why. Yeah. I just don't. I don't want your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same genre of. Stuff. Uh, um. Uh, oh, what do we want? Media. What is? What would you call it? What would you entertainment. Call it? Oh, entertainment yes. topics. Entertainment topics. Entertainment so topics. Remember, folks, we are an award-winning show. So yes. As you're watching this, you might be going, "This is crap," which should tell all of you at home that if you see these awards sitting here and you're watching this and you're shaking your head, going, "That won an award," I dare you to come out here and beat us. Well. <laughs> Also, yep. we'll see you in here. if you do feel that way, you could at least nominate us for an award for most crappy, too, so we could have a third. Do they uh, have? Third. Yeah, they should have the Toilet Bowl Awards, the oh. TIP Award. Mm. Toilet Bowl. Our own okay. personal Razzie. Rolling Stones, top five greatest rock and roll songs of all time. Ooh. This is easy. Favorite song, best song ever? So, uh, I mean, best song ever? There's a lot of genres of songs. Yeah. See. Rock and roll? Oh, I I feel like it's what is Stairway to Heaven on there? No. Mm, I hope not. No, thank God. Yeah, I knew you guys were gonna rip on me for that. I can't. Is Hotel I can't, California? Again, I can't pick up These are best too song. slow. It's different times. Actually, I was really surprised. Let's go through the list and then maybe that'll spark some discussion. Cause I was shocked. Number five came in with Aretha Franklin's R E S P E C T. That's rock and roll. Simon. The rock songs of all time. It took tw it spent twelve weeks on number Billboard's number one. Wow. Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Thirteen weeks at the top. This is number this three isn't rock. came in. <laughs> oh come right. on now, listen to number three. Okay. John Lennon's Imagine. That's not very rock and roll. I'm like you know. I, it, the problem is, is there was a good forty years when everything fell under the rock category. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Fair enough. Okay. Seventies were, you know, a lot of the it was either John disco Denver or singers rock. and songwriters were yeah. folk rock. Rock and roll. Uh, see, even even oh. that song was a rock song because the word rock was in it. And oh. so was Mountain, which are also made of snow, rock, dirt, rock, soil, bedrock. Number two, Rolling Stone Satisfaction. Now that I can get behind. Okay. That's yeah. a good one. I like it. I mean, yeah. it's, that's that's like a. Although That's painted, a low risk I rock would song. I would argue that Painted Black is a better Rolling Stones song. Oh, mm -hmm. I agree. Not, but not as much outreach, I would say, right? Right, and satisfaction. I yeah. mean, when you think of the Stones, there's a few songs you think of. Um, Brown Eyed Girl. I <laughs> get it. That's Van Larsen. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, that's not it. Um, Sugar, is that where you're going? I actually oh, knew um, that. Honky Tonk Woman is where oh, I was I going. But, uh, Aren't the Rolling Stones songs I think of? Go on. What do you think of? I can't think of them. Yeah, <laughs> no. They're old. And no, I listen stuff. to classic rock. Thank you very much. So like yeah, she listens to like, like 99. <laughs> I was going to say like uh, no. um, uh, Sugar she, Ray she and... Uh, Jack FM is not classic rock. So. <laughs> <laughs> the I number one. <laughs> oh, the number so one rock song in the Rolling Stone magazine is surprisingly enough 
Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone. Paul McCollum? There are what? There are like 30 better Bob oh, Dylan that's, songs. That's Captain Hook, I think. Hmm. Yeah. On the cover of a Rolling Stone. <laughs> okay. So mean Different genre. So now that we've heard those, I'm still with Ice Ice Baby. It wouldn't that be rock? Right? Be rock, right? No. rock, I mean, there's that tool. Uh, uh, is Definitely the tool not. song Enema? Have you ever heard that song? Yeah, I, I think so. That is not only fantastic. Heard it, I've experienced it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Do you have any video? And I hope it's rolling right now as we're talking. I do, over it is. It was rolling Instead of watching it. It was rolling. That's what Hope goes to say <laughs> on that one. Right, That's award winning <laughs> comedy right out of her. And since we're on the genre of lists, let's go with <laughs> Forbes.com's. Top five comedies of all time. I like this because this is like, these are, you know, this isn't all social media in a way. Comedies. Like these, these have been around for a while. I guess IMDb, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they've been around for a while. Yeah, like Rolling Stone. Like these are respectable lists. Very respectable lists. I guess that's I mean, what let's I'm face at. it, when you think of business, if you don't think of Forbes, you're a member of Al Qaeda. So, number five, Borat. 1.7 laughs a minute. Do you agree? Wait, so these are. Did you even say Top five list? comedies. Oh, comedies. Yes. If you yeah, pay, Borat. If you pay attention. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess we kind of screwed up here. the other movies. Oh. Well, the other movies, I didn't understand it wasn't, like, comedies are excluded, or is this, this, this is Forbes magazine? This is Forbes. This is a They took a laughs per minute. They yes. applied math to it. Okay. Now, I don't know Fair whose enough. laugh they were judging, because you and I have different senses. Borat yeah. is funny. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you no, off, you but that is the name of the I, stupid I would show. It's funny. Okay. Um, Borat is hilarious. Yes. I recently saw, what's that other one? Yeah, uh, what is that other one? Bruno. Bruno. And there are some scenes in there that I laughed. I thought I was going to pass yeah. out. I was laughing so yeah. hard. I mean, it was an intenser laugh, but it wasn't, I didn't laugh as much as I did in Borat. So. The formula they're working on with is laughs per minute, yeah. meaning they're totaling the amount of laughs. They're not, they're not accounting like for the intense laugh yeah. intensity. Okay. No, it's laughs per minute. I want to see the formula they're using on this. Otherwise, I don't know if I can. But I'll, I'll hear the rest of the list. Okay. But I don't, I don't like it. Because if we don't no, hear Borat? the rest of the list, yeah. we can never go to sleep. Have you yeah. seen Borat? I have. Yeah. The I whole saw Bruno. I will openly admit that there were scenes in Bruno that made me so uncomfortable. Yeah. Those were the ones that I think I was laughing yeah. and <laughs> almost passed out. I was. I mean, it was like heckling. Because we have our movie room upstairs, and we were watching it, and like, I, there were scenes where I went, I think the kids are up. We need to pause this. <laughs> <laughs> because if they hear or see this, our bill to unscrew them up is going to be ridiculous. So. Um, so yeah, that was Bruno. Yeah. But uh, Borat number five, number four, super bad at one point nine laughs per minute. Super bad. I you know. I, I, I think thought it was solid. Maybe the I, first I just time, yeah, I did. You know, I went to the theater. I think. And I guess I, I actually thought Pineapple Express was funnier than yeah. that. Yeah. I don't. I I I I hadn't seen. Super bad. I haven't seen Pineapple Express. It, there's a long time that crossed between them, so I don't. I thought. When I was watching Pineapple Express, I actually thought, I think I thought I liked Super Bad better. better. Wow, that took me a long yeah, time yeah. to say. It was a long road to get there. So I feel like uh, you guys have that been doing said, that today. Super Bad. Um, are we interrupting you guys? Yeah, can I? Uh, can anybody can get hear you me? Is my belly hanging you know, out the bottom of my shirt? It's not distracting at all to have you talking Would while you we're talking. Would you like me to? Okay. We're trying to. Why don't you just come you? on here on camera and let's? Yeah. Uh, no, they, <laughs> you guys can take over. It's forbidden. Obviously, we're doing a hell of a great job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <No>. smart asses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is our friend Al. Hmm? First time on t television ever. Ever. Con congratulations. So, would you like to read number three? I would love to. Naked gun on the file of a police squad. How many laughs a minute? 2.3 laughs a minute. Wow. I recently re-saw that on TV, and that is hilarious Would you stuff. agree with it, Al? I would. Yeah, I, That's yeah. a solid one. I, I, I agree with Naked Gun. Al and I have good You've taste never seen in the Naked Gun. No, I have. I was just kidding. No, the movie. Oh. <laughs> uh, Hangover, part one, not 17. No. 
I, I didn't Because it's like kind of it. turned into Police Academy. <laughs> um, yeah. I Two didn't really like The Hangover. Really? I mean, it was fine, but like then it got people were like, have you seen The Hangover? It's like, yeah, it that's was, my Friday night, you know? It like, was so shocking, though, the first time you see it. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was so hysterical yeah. that they kept going further and further with it. Like, he wakes up with the chicken walking next to his head, and I'm like, that's funny. I've never seen that before. I guess. And then he goes to the bathroom, and there's a freaking tiger in there. But sometimes, some of those things, it's like, that's, that wouldn't happen. Like you wouldn't get drunk and steal Mike Tyson's tiger. The I fact would, that like it came I from wouldn't. Mike Tyson is that's genius. True. That's true. true. So, but the number one was the fact. I don't know. Airplane. You saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I, I don't think I did. Picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. <laughs> that's, uh, that's legit. The jerk. Have you ever seen on. a grown man naked? Have you ever seen a you soil like minute? Gladiator movie. Um, airplane at no. three laughs a minute. Yeah, okay. That's, that's Fair solid. enough. That's yeah. A lot you of quick fire is? jokes in that, too. That that one guy uh, who's. Steve uh, Martin, right? Steve Martin is in it. No. 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 In no. The Jerk. Steve Martin's in The Jerk. Steve Martin's which in is The awesome. Jerk. Which is awesome. Trains, planes, and automobiles. Movies. Is he in that? Also yes, in he that. Is. There yeah. we go. Not on the same page as he's. Okay, of, well. Shop Girl. He's also in that, I think. Uh, Father of the Bride. <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. of obscure as uh, I'm, uh, I'm falling asleep. The uh, um, the Jerk, if you haven't seen that, you need. That's one that you should add. Oh, I think I have seen it. You know. Um, Does he, like, end up homeless at some point, kind of? Yes. Yep, I've seen yes. it. Yes. Because he invents the. <laughs> the uh, Opti the, Grab. The Opti Grab thing, that, so everybody goes cross eyed <laughs> and sues him. But that has some of the funny scenes where he grabs the, he's got the uh, water cooler full of wine <laughs> and the glass dispenser of wine <laughs> glasses. And then he always wants to have the drink with the umbrella in it to look fancy. Yeah. <laughs> now I look like this guy. <laughs> and it's got the thermos song in it. So, oh. all right, I think uh, we uh, that wraps up our list shows. And uh, before we go, um, I'd like to throw out a special word from W here on soil in your backyard. W? Welcome to Off Constantly Soil Minute. I'm D.W. Bauer and today I am going to be talking about sand and how it holds water or how it doesn't hold water. So when you think of soil, it's composed of sand, silt, and clay sized particles. A sand particle is about the size, let's say it's about the size of a beach ball. A silt sized particle is maybe the size of a golf ball and then your clay sized particles about the size of a pea. So um, water coats each of these soil particles and the surface area of the particles is what we're interested in. Now if I'm holding one, one uh, beach ball, it's only going to have so much surface area. But if I'm holding a big jar of little peas and stuff, it's going to have so much more surface area and it's going to be able to hold so much more water. So sand, not a lot of surface area, doesn't hold a lot of water compared to clay, which has tremendous amounts of water holding capacity. I'm D.W. Bauer, and that's your Soil Minute. It's fascinating, W. Uh, I'm never going to walk in my backyard again. I'm, I don't want to hurt that soil. All that stuff's <laughs> going on on the soil. There's a lot of processes going on. Oh, a lot. And soil, processes. Soil stuff, too. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Jay, closing comments on our list tonight? You know what? I have a list about our list show. Okay. It's one bullet point long, and it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. One bullet. All I right. have another list. Yes. We are number one and number two. And you two can have We're one of these things too. Two. All you need to do is take Eric's class, we are How to Make a TV Show, bunch and of you can make two. this good stuff for free. Or and possibly free. get one of these yourself to put in your office and or mantle. It's got a nice butt. It does. Yeah. You know, I modeled for it. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. On that note. On that note, and that's uh, your closing comment. Yeah. My closing comment is, I love you, man, and girl. Mm. Have a good week. Thanks for watching. Off constantly. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bum 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 bum